Recently for a robot project, I needed to get a stepper motor driven by an Arduino to work. I used the L298N driver module that I got from eBay, some quick wiring, and sure enough, I was able to get that stepper to rotate and work pretty good. If you're a maker or electronics enthusiast, make sure you check out PCBWay. They can make any circuit board you desire, provide the parts, and even assemble the board for you. They now offer fully transparent tracking on your order so you can see where your project is at from start to finish. Parts for this project are pretty simple. Arduino Nano, L298N stepper, the stepper motor, and some wiring. The 298 is a dual full bridge driver chip slash module that can be purchased really reasonably from a lot of different sources. You can use these modules to control just about any kind of output such as motors or in our case a stepper motor. Check out the data sheet for detailed information on it. Wiring is simple. We need our four different control wires from the Arduino I.O., a ground that's shared with the Arduino and the power to the module, a power for the module, and our four wires going out to our motor. Additionally, yours may have two extra pins like mine for enable. You may or may not have jumpers. If you don't have jumpers on the board, you need to tie your enable pins high to keep it enabled all the time, or you can pulse with modulate them, such as controlling a DC motor. You can use whatever kind of wire you have kicking around. I have these breadboard jumpers. They're plenty good enough for the amount of current we're going to be drawing here. These four wires are the ones that go between the module and the Arduino outputs. In my case, they're pins 8, 9, 10, and 11 that you can see outlined in the code linked below. Now we can go ahead and hook up our stepper motor. Remember, if you're using the module that I'm using here, the enable pins have to either be tied high or driven by the Arduino. I've altered the code to include digital pin 13 as an enable output to drive these high. That way, the stepper motor isn't drawing a lot of current at all the time. Now with everything installed loosely on the bench, we can get an overview of where the wires are, where they're coming, and where they're going. This should work wonderfully. And just like that, with everything powered up, our stepper is doing a full sweep 360 degrees one direction, 360 degrees to the other direction. 200 steps per revolution in the code set up below. It works just perfect. This is exactly what I needed to control the steering in my robot. I'm pretty happy. Make sure you check out my other video on this where I actually build this setup and laser cut this mount for the stepper motor. This is for my Mars Rover build uh, DIY autonomous robot. So this is working pretty good. I think we'll go ahead and put it in the robot. If you like what I'm doing here, click a thumbs up on these videos. It truly helps the channel. Join me on Patreon or become a channel member at the links down below. That also really helps me keep these videos coming to you guys. Cheers guys, good luck in all your projects.